everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. Last session, we would get to know the details of WFS and WCS services and their operations. In this session, we want to talk about the steps of publishing some vehicle layers by Joe Server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Vector data structures represent specific features on the Earth's surface and assign attributes to those features. Vectors are composed of discrete geometric locations, x and y values known as vertex, that define the shape of the special object. The organization of the vertex determines the type of vector that we are working with, point, line, and polygon. Among the common vector format, the directory of shapefiles, PostGIS, and Web Feature Server will be explained in the following. Directory of a special file. You can publish shapefiles in your server with two different options. Choosing the directory store, you can configure a folder containing a set of shapefiles, then you will need to individually add each shapefile to your server. The shapefile option provides the path to just one shapefile as we discussed earlier. To add a directory from data section, navigate to the stores and click on add a new store, then directory of special files. We will use the project workspace. Fill the required and optional field as shown in the screen. For connection parameters, click on Browse and select the directory where your shapefile is there. When finished, click Save. Show Server browses the folder and lists the files contained. Click on Publish to create a layer for the school's shapefile. As you did to create a layer for the properties file, you need to customize some settings. Scroll down to the coordinate reference systems and check the native SRS and declared SRS. Click on Compute from Data and Compute from Native Bounds. Go to Layer Preview and click on Open Layers on the row of the newly created layer. You will see a project called Schools with the default point symbol. To publish another shapefile, click on Layers again. Then add a new layer. From Choose One option, select Project Column Directory Underline SDR. Then publish the Road shapefile. Click on Compute from Data and Compute from Native Bounds. Finally, go to Layer Preview and click on Open Layers for Object Colon Roads Layer with the default line symbol. PostGIS PostGIS is an extension to the PostgreSQL Object Relational Database System which allows GIS objects to be stored in the database. This is the most popular and most capable of all open source relational databases with special capabilities and its features are constantly increasing. It leverages on PostgreSQL, a well-known and powerful RDBMS challenging top commercial products such as Oracle. Navigate to the Store section. Click the Add New Store link. Select the PostGIS link and click it. You need to insert connection parameters for the database in PostGIS. Select Project for Workspace. Set data source name and description as PostGIS underline str. On the Connection Parameters section, fill the following parameter. Host is localhost or insert host IP. Port is equal to 5432, the default port of Postgres. Database is city, the name of the database that we want to use it. Eschema is equal to public. Enter username and password of PostgreSQL database and finally click save. After saving, you will be taken to a page that lists all layers in the PostGIS and gives you the option to publish any of them. Click publish. Show server shows the same publishing form we used for the shapefile. The name and title fields should be automatically populated. Fill the declared SRS field to set the coordinate reference systems. 
Then generate the bounce for the layer by clicking the compute from data and compute from native bounce buttons in the bounding boxes section. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Notice the read-only feature type detail table and then click save. At this point, the PostGIS layer has been added and is ready to be served by Joe Server. Use the layer preview to view its contents, filtering, and projects workspace. If all went well, you should see something like on the screen. External Web Feature Server JavaServer has the ability to load data from a remote web feature server or WFS. This is useful if the remote WFS lacks certain functionality that JavaServer contains. For example, if the remote WFS is not also a webmap server or WMS, data from the WFS can be cascaded through JavaServer to utilize JavaServer's WMS. If the remote WFS has a WMS but that WMS cannot output KML, data can be cascaded through Joe Server's WMS to output KML. To connect to an external WFS, it's necessary to load it as a new data store. To start, navigate to Store section from the interface. Click on Add a new store. Select Web Feature Server from the set of available vector data sources. Specify a proper name as an instance WFS underline STR in the data source name field of the interface. Specify a Get Capabilities request as the URL of the sample data in the Capabilities URL field. Make sure that the HTTP authentication fields match the remote server authorization you have on it. Then scroll down and click Save. Publish the project underlying parcels on the published link near the layer name. Notice that you can also add more layers later. Check the coordinate reference systems and the bounding boxes fields are properly set and then click on save. At this point, the new WMS and WFS layer is being published with Joe Server. You can use the layer preview to inspect the data. In this session, we lend you the steps of publishing some vector layers by Joe Server. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around the WFS and WCS services and their operations, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a great time!